the Wichita Mountains, a tiny chain of mountains that run through the southwest part of a state that is otherwise very flat, lying in the Great Plains of the United States. Growing up, my great-grandparents had a cabin down by Lake Lugert, aka Lake Altus, just northeast of Hicks Mountain. I have a lot of great childhood memories from that place, and it's where I learned to water ski. There goes Craig and Dylan. Northeast from that area is the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, a national park that is home to many species of wildlife. There are bison, turkey, eagles, geese, varieties of fish, snakes, you name it. My dad, my friends, and I have enjoyed the wildlife refuge many times over the years, going to take photos, hike, fish, and even repelled there once. Ready? Sort yep. of. It's a blessing to have such a neat place so close to where I call home to come to every now and then and do any of the things I mentioned earlier. And yet, there is still so much of it I have yet to explore. Today my dad and I are going down to Medicine Park first to eat some lunch, then head to the refuge to enjoy a nice weather day in good old southwestern Oklahoma in hopes he can get some good photos. What's going on guys? Today is Thursday, February 27th, 2020. Here with dad, obviously, and we are just now getting into Medicine Park. We are going to be either dining for lunch at a place called The Old Plantation or Riverside Cafe, hopefully. Um, it's about 20 minutes till 11, so they should either already be open or open it up pretty soon. I wonder if they serve breakfast. Not that I want no, breakfast, but I'm no, just wondering if they're so. open. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, we're going to eat some lunch, and then we are going to uh, get on down into the refuge and see what all picturesque opportunities we can find. We are pulling out of the old plantation. Just got through taking care of the whole lunch thing. Now we are going to, I believe we're going to go head up Mount Scott first. Yeah. Mount Scott good. is the, it's got the highest, it's the biggest mountain, right? The tallest mountain on the refuge, or is that true? No, I don't think so. I think Elk Mountain might be tall. Elk I don't Mountain. Know. I, I don't know. I can't remember it. Yeah, that's, I think you're right now. I think <clears> about it. Anyways, Mount Scott is an actual mountain that you can... The spiral drive up and you can go up on top of it it had been closed for the past couple of years i'm not exactly sure what all they were doing but they're improving something maybe the roads or something up it so this is gonna be the first time we've actually been up there uh in a couple of years so we're gonna go up there first of course we'll take some pictures and some videos and then we'll venture into more of the deeper part of the refuge Well, had to make a real short pit stop before we got into the actual refuge area. I stopped, we stopped at uh, the uh, aquarium, the yep. Medicine Park Aquarium. So, <laughs> a 
there are two reasons that you cannot fly your drone legally on the refuge. Number one, well, I got probably of most importance, Fort Sill Military Base is not far from here. So that's obviously a huge, huge no-no. Restricted airspace all around here. And then secondly, you can't fly your drone on the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge without express written consent because it is a national park. So I'm completely aware of those things. I have an app now called Before You Fly, thanks to my buddy, Ed. And it shows you all these zones and tells you if you're good to fly or not. Also, the uh, zoning software that's kind of internally built into DJI Go 4, the app that you use to fly and monitor your drone, it'll let you know if you're in a no-fly zone or not. So anyways, went up uh, to the kind of up a hill to the uh, aquarium area and you're in the clear there you're right on the outskirts of it and so I was able you know I was 110% sure to stay out of that no fly zone that restricted area and I was still able to get some cool shots of you know the refuge from afar looking at Mount Scott you saw the big old mountain and then also uh, Medicine Park where we just ate and everything like that so now we're actually getting on to uh, Mount Scott's right here in front of me and we're gonna go up it and take you guys with us. So just wanted to take the drone up for a little bit back in the area where I could first. So here we go, guys. And we have made it to the top of Mount Scott. Not too many people up here. <laughs> People here dressed for the spring wearing his shorts and shit. Well, I'm sure I didn't do, you know, too good of a job showcasing off the top of Mount Scott. It's windy up here, and also, uh, man, it's too cold for just the hoodie back on the ground. It's a little bit warmer, so we're gonna go back to the truck, get back down on the ground, and go more into the refuge. We have a bison situation looked up here. We got about three of them right off the road trying to pull up, get dad in good frame space for a photo. Might be way too close. So we decided we're going to march back here to Osage Lake. It's a little bitty tiny lake here on the refuge. Some pretty weird um, happenings or history just with us personally at this uh, this lake. Maybe a story for the uh, ride home or something like that. But anyways, we're gonna get down here and take some photos. Don't really think we're gonna get much wildlife or anything spectacular today, but shoot man, just can't beat a nice day out with old pops you know what i'm saying so yeah we had to walk way out here because our reaches on our lens are so long just to get that picture of me on that boulder right there
this is a pretty cool view right here um, overlooking Osage Lake up here. Fixing to go walk across that dam there. Check out the little cave. Well, we are going to now leave Osage Lake. I don't know if we're really gonna stop many more places you know on the way out here due to time constraints gonna have to go ahead and start heading home here pretty quick usually there are all kinds of uh well state reptile of oklahoma huh yeah uh mountain boomers state reptile of oklahoma up here basking in the sun but we're thinking it's too cold here late february well probably middle march april and spring summer they'll be out so uh, anyways, here's some cool mountain boomer footage from the past that I got for you guys. Speaking of mountain boomers, so if you're on Snapchat, you know about geo filters, right? Like it's artwork that you can swipe over and display and it'll come up only if you're in a certain vicinity or confines of a geographical point on the map, right? So. I actually took a photo of like the skyline of the mountains that my dad took years ago. And then also a photo of a mountain boomer that my dad took, took it to Adobe Illustrator, did some graphic design to it, and made a Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge geo filter, submitted it to Snapchat, they approved, and this is what you get now. When you come to the Wichita Mountains and you swipe over, you can use this geo filter. Maybe a little bit of a glare, but yeah, I took that photo up on top of Mount Scott, swiped over, and there is still that geo filter I created to this day. A good five, six years ago now that I designed that, so pretty cool stuff. <laughs> hey, Bevo. getting back up into Dodge aka Anadarko gonna drop dad off and I'm gonna get home what's up Frito holding it down on the front porch look who was looking at Frito outside the front door
later. Gonna do a little drone flying. Um, it's about 6.30 p.m. As you guys saw when I got home, kinda just hung out with Bodie and Samantha outside for a little bit. Played with the cats, and then just kinda came inside, watched some TV, and hung out. But um, gonna fly the drone a little bit. Sky looks kinda pretty. It's uh, kinda trying to be a good sunset. But um, gonna do a little bit of drone flying real quick, and then go back inside and probably just hang out till Bodie and Samantha go to bed. And I'll probably stay up late editing this vlog that you just watched, so. Let's get the drone in there. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. So until next time, vlog number 100, what? Vlog number 246. Growing up, my great-grandparents had a cabin down by Lake Lugert, aka Lake Altus, just northeast of Hicks Mountain. I have a lot of great childhood memories from that place, and it's where I learned to water ski.